Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back in front of the camera filming for you today. I know I have been gone for a hot minute. I am so sorry about that. I just scared myself. <laughs> Oh God. Uh, I know I've been gone for a hot minute. I'm so sorry about that. Life, it just, it's been a roller coaster ride a little bit here lately, but I am so, so, so pumped that my first video back for you guys is, geez, gonna be a catastrophe because I'm knocking everything over. I'm so excited that my first video back with you guys is going to be a Halloween makeup tutorial. I love Halloween. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Halloween and I'm obsessed with Christmas. I love both of those holidays, just, ugh. So, so, it gives me all the feel goods, you know, all the good feels. <laughs> As you can see, my voice, she gone. She gone, she's been gone for like over a week now. I'm ready for her to come back. So today I'm gonna do a voiceover to save you guys from having to listen to my squeakiness. And plus, when I do Halloween makeup, I literally move at the speed of a snail. I move so slow. I am so attention to detail and yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a voiceover and listen to some music, get in the mood, go about my makeup business you know what i'm saying but don't forget before you leave today to subscribe these to the channel if you have not already how about all that pointing that i don't need to do give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and yeah i will stop rambling and let's get on to the video i was gonna do something with this hair but my mom life was like girl you ain't got time to film and do some of that head you ain't got time to just film and then i decided to throw a headband on here to at least make it look decent and not like a rat's nest and there's a freaking necklace tangled up in my headband who does this i can't get it out so like screw it we'll just add more pretty more pretty more pretty it's not got a leaf in my head that's what that is that's what that is <laughs> Okay, so first things first, I'm using the Tardiest Pro Palette, the shade Punk in that palette. It's just like the black shade in there. And I'm just using a fluffy brush. I can't even speak today. And I'm applying this all over my lid, my crease, everywhere. I'm just really wanting to darken up these eyes. I wanted to use this look with as many shadows as possible versus just putting on like a cream or a face paint around my eyes because I have a tendency to touch my face a lot and smear it and I wasn't trying to do that. Then there is the makeup face that only a mother can love that you know we all make. We all make. <laughs> I don't know why we make this face, but we do. And I'm just using that same color punk and I am dragging it on my lash line and rounding it out through my eye. If that makes any sense, you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just blending them all together, giving me a nice black eye and just keep adding more black and more color to your liking. Then with a clean fluffy brush, I am just blending out these edges, making them soft and not so harsh and trying to make everything look blended together. Just keep blending and blending and blending. If you think you've blended enough, just keep blending a little more. Then I am taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Side Waterproof Gel Liner and I'm going to line my waterline with this, just making it look even more dark. I don't really want any white spaces. That makes sense. And then on my lash line, I'm taking Pretty Vulgar's The Ink Black Gel Liner and applying that on my lash line. Then I'm just going to blend those together, just giving it a nice smoky under eye look. Then I'm just going back in with that shade Punk from the Tardius Pro palette and I'm just adding more definition into the crease and going over that gel liner, kind of setting it in with the powder and just once again making it a little bit more dark, a little bit more sp smoky, I can't talk, a little bit more dark, a little more spooky, and a little more spooky, that makes sense. <laughs> Next, I'm using Urban Decay's Heavy Metals Palette and I am going in with the shade Aluminum and I am just going to go directly under the black on my lash line, add a little silver there and bring it up into the crease, just giving some definition and adding just a little bit of color into those eyes versus it just being so black. Helps make it pop just a little. Then I'm going back in with Pretty Vulgar's ink, 
the ink black gel liner that is a mouthful and I'm starting to apply this all over my lid and just blending it in I wanted my eye to be a little darker and that's something that the eyeshadow wasn't really giving me so I just added that gel liner in blended it out and just gave those eyes a little bit more dramatic dark look and a water break because we all need to stay hydrated. Then I'm just gonna throw on some mascara and plop on some false eyelashes. False eyelashes bring every look together, I swear they do. Then I'm just taking a black eyeliner pencil and I'm going to create the mouth on my face, starting in the inner corner of my mouth and just dragging it up following the bottom part of my cheekbone. I kept looking at my other side because I wanted to make these as even as possible. If you don't make them even, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. You're a skull anyways, so it's not like it has to be perfect. Then I'm just going to blacken out some of my lips. Next, I'm going in with Butter London's Roll-On Precise Liner. This was really, really useful when making my teeth because literally you just rolled it on, there was no bleeding, nothing like that, it didn't come off too thick, but I just started drawing my teeth from the top to the bottom and yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, you'll see. Then I'm going back in with the Anastasia Dark Side Waterproof Gel Liner that we used in our waterline, and I'm just going to go over those lines that I just put on my mouth, darkening them up and giving them more definition. Then going in with that same eyeliner pencil, I am just going to create my mouth and my jawline. And you can do this any way you want it. You don't have to follow exactly how I did it. I wanted little squares at the back of my jawline where my ears are, but you can do that however you want. Then I'm going back in with Pretty Vulgar's The Ink Black Gel Liner and I'm just going to start filling in where I don't want my teeth to be showing. And with that same gel liner, I am just darkening up the jaw lines that I drew and the mouth lines that I drew to make them more defined and more visible. And then of course there's always a music break when you're doing your makeup, you always have to have a music break. Next I'm going to go in with the water-based paint. It's by Wolf and it is gold and I'm just going to start filling in these teeth areas with this gold water-based paint. I chose the water-based paint versus the face paint because once it dries, it dries and it's not going anywhere. It's not gonna spread and it's not gonna bleed. That's what I really liked about this, but once it's on your face, as far as blending goes, you can't blend it. Where you put it, it's gonna stay there. It's gonna stay there.
Then I'm going in with Maybelline's Night Sky Single Eyeshadow, and I'm just going to redefine these teeth, any areas that the gold may have covered up, round them out a bit, and just make them a little bit more black and a little more in your face. Then going back in with Anastasia's Dark Side Waterproof Gel Liner, I'm going to draw my nose. You can do your nose however you want. I just wanted to do little triangles on it. And then using the Pretty Vulgar The Ink Black Gel Liner, I am filling in that nose of mine. Then using once again the Butter London Roll On Precise Liner, I am going to just draw a double line of my nose to just give that a little more definition, so just following the triangles that I already made. Then using the Pretty Vulgar's The Ink Black Gel Liner, I'm just going to start lining parts of my face where I want it to be more defined, like my cheekbone area, then I'll do around my forehead. my eye area just when you do this part right here with your eyes it just gives your eyes a little bit more of a mean look I guess you could say maybe not a mean look and a more intense look and then I'm just adding some lines on my forehead as well as by my temples Then going back in with the Maybelline Night Sky Eyeshadow, I'm just starting to blend out where I put these lines so they don't look just like harsh lines on my face. And they actually give my face some definition and blend in well. For the eyes, I'm using Too Faced Glitter Glue and I'm just going to apply this glitter glue directly in the center of my eye. Then going over that with the Wolf Gold Water Base Paint and then applying the glitter right on top of that. And I didn't use body glitter, I honestly just used extra fine gold glitter from Michaels. It worked just fine. But I applied the water-based paint before the glitter because it just gives it a little bit more gold look, it makes it pop and stand out more. I'm doing the same thing with my eyebrows. I'm adding Too Faced glitter glue there. I meant to put the Woof water-based paint on my eyebrows as well, but I didn't even realize that I forgot to do that until I had already done one eyebrow, so I just added extra more glitter. Extra more. I just added more glitter. Then I'm going to apply glitter glue on the inner corner of my eye and on my nose and add more gold glitter there. And down to the teeth, I'm going to apply the same Too Faced glitter glue there, as well as put the gold water-based paint in each tooth and then apply the glitter on each one. This is very time consuming. This look took probably about two and a half hours for me to create. 
So if you do wanna do this look, just take that into consideration. You're gonna need some time, girl. You're gonna need some time. Then I'm just going in with a white eyeshadow and I'm just highlighting areas of the face that I want to give more definition, give more curvature. So under my lines, on top of my lines, anywhere that I, anywhere, anywhere that I have curves, you'll see, just highlight those areas of your face. And then I'm just going in with a liquid liner from Clinique. It's in black and I'm just going to redefine those teeth anywhere that the glitter may have gone over top of the black to where you can't see it as much. So just darkening it up, redefining those teeth and making them more in your face. I wanted some cracks on my skull face, so I just added little squiggly lines too on my chin and then just kind of blended them out. And that is the look, you guys. Thank you so much for sitting with me through this long makeup tutorial. But I tell you, I just want to make sure you guys got all the details and know how to do it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I love you guys so much. Thank you for the support. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.